hey guys welcome back to another candle vlog we are getting ready to label these candles for my fall collection i wanted you guys to see the new labels that i'm going to be using for the fall collection i already showed it in my last uh, candle vlog but i don't think i went into detail so i'm actually going for a new look and i custom made these labels and i really like the look of it the labels are easily removable and it has a matte finish it's kind of like you can kind of see a sheen like a little bit of a sheen because the glare from the light is taking over but it's a matte finish this is what i was originally using the one on the left has more of a gloss and the one on the right is more matte i'm gonna pop the lids off of these candles as well sanitize my hands also I always do a smell test before I label my candles. You just never know. <laughs> like you don't wanna mislabel anything. I really like the matte look. Look how easy that comes off. So funny, so the only reason I'm relabeling them is because I made a freaking error on the labels that I printed off the first time. And I had to make an edit to both labels. And I swear I double checked, like I triple checked before I labeled everything. I think I was just probably just tired and didn't really catch it. I had to take off all of those labels. So I had to get my scissors, I had to get alcohol. It was just so much drama. I was like, why haven't I been using easily removable labels in the first place? So by the time you guys see this video, my candles will already be online. I got two orders and I already like packed them and I already shipped them off. So someone ordered, let's see, she ordered pumpkin rum loaf and cream cheese icing. So she ordered one and then the other customer ordered uh, one of each. Yeah, so the ginger spice macaron and pumpkin rum loaf and cream cheese icing. And according to the timeline, the order was delivered was delivered yesterday so disclaimer i am not a photographer at all i thought this setup was the cutest thing i'm working with what i have this is actually a cutting board that one of my friends she bought this for my husband and i this is a wedding gift so if i flip it on the other side like it's engraved so instead of going out purchasing a cutting board i had this one at home and then i went to heb and i purchased these macaroons it's so funny because guys i cannot tell the difference i don't know if i'm smelling the macaroons or if i'm smelling the candle here are the macaroons the bottom layer it's like a chocolate layer i thought it was very fitting for the photo for the bottom to be like dipped in something because the bottom layer is like a bourbon maple scent so if you have like a backsplash even if it's white like plain you can definitely get your whole little photo set up going and then even like check this out is that not a studio light or what <laughs> so got the macaroons from H-E-B. I actually called them before I went because I went to Target, I went to Kroger. And the ones that were nearby didn't carry them. These are really good. My husband tried some of these. This was our first time trying macaroons. I've never had these macaroons before. There's another macaroon cookie, M-A-C-A-R-O-N. I've had those and I love those, but I've never had, I've never tried these. My husband said they were so good. Um, but the funny part about this whole little setup situation is that, you know, of course our cutting board is nice and clean and it's washed and we have these beautiful, fresh macaroons. The props are definitely edible. Like I could definitely be done with this. I could finish up this shoot, this photo shoot, and I can nibble all my props because yeah, it's definitely, it's a, it's a mood for sure. 